This can't be real. Well, hello guys, how is everyone? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm good. I've been sick over the last two days, but I'm getting better, so that's really great. I wanted to say a big hello to all the newbies that have come over the last week and a special thank you to Jillian for the shout out because I've seen a load of people pile in from Jillian's video so thank you so so much to Jillian Budgets and I doubt this is the case as always but if you don't follow Jillian I will have her link below please go follow her watch her videos she's really sweet really lovely really relaxing videos and she has some great ideas for um, challenges which I've been really enjoying watching so Thank you again to Jillian and hi to all the newbies and if you're returning, hello, hey, how are you? Don't worry, we're getting back to regularly scheduled stuff very soon. I just have a few housekeeping bits though that I want to go through because I've got a couple of exciting things. So first of all, I got my new lighting. So I'll show you. I have this cool little didgeridoo and yeah, we can have a party if we want to. So, oh, it won't work now. Okay, well that's embarrassing. Hold on. So we can do a red, a green, blue, we've got pinks, we've got purples. I'm gonna break this now and we're gonna be stuck for the rest of the video in a in a dungeon. Hold on. There we go. Back to normal. But yeah, so I've got my lighting. Um you may see me playing around with this in the next few videos until I truly figure it out. But yeah, we've got a huge big options. We have, um, I'm not gonna put these on because they're hard to switch off, but there's like um, strobe effects and stuff. Not that you'd need that in a budgeting video, but hey, good to have. But yeah, so the lighting situation should be a lot better. Um, it probably will get better over time as I, I learn a bit more about it. Um, what else do I have? Oh, you may have seen over here, I finally got myself a second cube of doom. So I've been trying to do all my challenges with this one dice. Die? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one's which um but yeah my fiance had has a bag of dice actually so or die I don't I'm gonna stop saying it because I'm going to annoy myself the fact that I don't know what it is but this is the new cube of doom to help us with our challenges and what else do I have to say yes there is a giveaway coming I'm gonna do a separate video on it just because the stuff that I've ordered hasn't arrived just yet, but it should be here very soon. And then I'll do a video to show you what's in the giveaway for hitting 100 subscribers. But yeah, thank you so much guys. And yeah, let's get into it. We'll get the purse and then we can stuff for week three. So in the purse we have, also I made myself some little teller slips that I'm very, Happy about I haven't had a chance to use them I only really use the teller slips once a month when I go in after my monthly pay so it'll be a while before I can use it but suspending has nothing if you were around last week you know why I don't want to talk about it dates has 10 left in it which is what we put in so we haven't done anything in terms of dates this week food has 10 out of the 25 so Finally got a takeaway, got it last night, and it was very good. I'm very happy with it. But that, I think, I was trying to figure it out. I think it marks seven weeks. Seven weeks since we had our last takeaway, which is unreal. If you've been here in my other videos, you've heard me say that before I started cash stuffing, I was having about three takeaways a week. Um, Like two takeaways would have been a standard week. Three takeaways would have been a bad week. One takeaway would have been unheard of. So yeah, seven weeks. Uh, oh, we have a patient that needs surgery. I'll get to him. Don't worry, sir. So yeah, seven weeks without a takeaway. I'm super chuffed with that. And nothing else in here had been stuffed. So I'm just gonna order these back in the way I need them. Food out, dates, spending. Okay. So how has everybody's week been? I've had a day or two off work just because I haven't been well. But we're back at it now. What am I doing? Oh yeah. I got completely lost there for a second. So into our 11s. Week one is done. Week two is done. Week three is what we're on. So 
I do have a bonus stuffing this week as well because I got some extra money in. So we will wax seal those in the next video. Okay, so today we are, wait, what are these doing? Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna completely confuse myself here. So these need to go into wallet reserve before I forget and mix it up into everything else. So spending has nothing to go in this week. I still haven't taken anything out of diesel. There's still a hundred euro in here and the tank is still like super full. So that's exciting. If we get another like two weeks out of the car, which I'm sure we will, I'll probably put a tiny bit of diesel into it, but I'll have money to put into the 100 ml savings challenge. So this 10 can go into dates. So now we have 20, 30, 45. I don't know how you guys cope with these laminated envelopes. Like they're, they're nice, but at least the zips definitely open every time. Fun. So now fun has 10, 20, 35. So that is great. Building up our little stash in here, like I said. Food isn't going to get this because we always put this into the bonus stuffing. And then everybody else in here is good. So I'm gonna take these guys out of here so I don't mix them up. And then we can count this week, so I can't even remember how much is supposed to be in here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 90, 2, 2, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. I'm gonna, I'll speed you through another count, but I know I said I don't know what it is, but I'm looking at my cheat sheet now and that doesn't sound correct. 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, oh, I think that was our issue. 92, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70, 80, yes. Sorry, those 20s are so crispy that they kind of stick to each other, which is complete hypocrisy in consideration of what I said last week, but anyway. So we'll start with our sinking funds. And I've added some new stuff into here that I won't be putting anything in in this stuffing, but in the bonus stuffing I will. So holiday is paid for, holiday spending is savings challenges. Car tax is going to get five. So we now have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Our insurance will get the same. So that should probably have 25 as well. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And here in beauty we'll get a 20. So we now have 60 for hair and beauty. Kombucha is going to get five. Is my voucher still in date? Next shop in August. Oh, nice. Okay. Valid from the first of Oh, it's not even valid yet. So that's great. Did I say five? I did say five. 10, 25, 35, 45. That is great. We're starting to run low. You know, I've gotten low when I start buying Coke Zeros to, to replace my boot, which is I don't know, it's like running out of salad and saying I'm going to go to McDonald's, but I enjoy a Coke Zero. What was that? Health. Health will get five. So we have 15 in there now. Ooh. Sweet. House will get five as well. I'm looking at my cheat sheet and just realised that I didn't write it in the same order as my... Um, the order of these envelopes in the binder, which I don't know what I was thinking. I'll actually show you my cheat sheet in a second. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oops, it easy. So I got this idea for the cheat sheet. Um, I think everybody has a cheat sheet. And oh my God, I can't remember the channel. I'm trying to think. No, it's not gonna come to me, but I'll look it up afterwards and I'll link it down below because this was not my idea. 
but I saw somebody had a great idea where they printed off one page. So I just made this on Canva. It's got my little tag down there, back elbow digits. And yeah, I just made this on Canva and then laminated it. And so what I can do with it then every time that I'm stuffing is I can have this off to the side and it tells me the weekly amount that needs to go in, which I think is super helpful. So um, yeah, and I can just wipe this clean at the end of July and then put it in for like fill it out for August. So yeah, I don't, I can't remember. I'll, I'll try my best to find that channel and link it below, but I just thought it was a brilliant idea. So Christmas is getting a 10. And I do, oh, you'll see, I, I kept saying I was gonna redo all my trackers. I actually took most of my trackers out and just threw them away because I was like, oh, these are all envelopes that I spend money out of all the time. So I didn't want to have trackers in that were gonna be constantly incorrect because I spent the money. So yeah, there is still one in Christmas. It's not up to date. I don't know if I'm gonna throw it out or not, to be honest, we shall see, but we'll ignore it for the moment as we always do. So Christmas has 10, 20, 35, 45, 55. And this is getting a bit of a beefing in the bonus stuffing as well. How do you guys do Christmas? So if there's anybody out there that's in, say, a, I don't know what I'd call it. There's no young kids in our family anymore. So there's the, the youngest in our family now is 18. And then there's me, I'm 27. And then there's 25 year old and then there's my mom and my dad and we've kind of the last few years all of us have been kind of scrambling for presents like we don't really know what to do so my idea this year and selfishly because I know what I want for Christmas I was like why doesn't everybody chip in and we get one get one good gift from all of us for each person um and I know some people do Chris Kendall as well but I think the issue is that because we have multiple people to buy for, you have to come up with lots of ideas. Whereas if everybody puts their head together and thinks of one idea and then everybody chips into that. Um, I don't know, I'd love to hear your ideas though, like how if you have a family like that or um, even if you do have young kids, but for the adults, what, what way do you guys work it? Because I'm a little bit lost. So birthdays is getting five. So we have 15 in there now. This is great. I actually feel like these envelopes are starting to get somewhere. I feel like the first month of cash stuffing, it's really fun and everything, but you're kind of like, God, this is going nowhere. But it feels like it is now. Hobbies is getting nothing because I need to calm down with all my new hobbies. Technology is getting five. I had to swap change out for my fiance the other day. So that's why there's a 20 in here. So we have 30 in technology now. He was asking me what would I spend technology on and I was like, I wouldn't spend it, it's in an envelope. It means it's safe. I don't want anything technology wise, but I also am very aware of how much phones cost. So if a phone was to clip its clogs, I want to have something ready. So clothing is getting 15. So you have 20, 30, 45. It's exciting. I swear to God, when I go to spend this to get stuff for my holidays, there's not gonna be anything in the shop. This is one of the new envelopes. It's not a spelling mistake. It says future husband. That is what I call my fiance. So I'm not stuffing that for this one. This is gonna get stuffed in the bonus. You may be looking at this and saying, Juliana, you stuff for dates every week and fun. So what is this? And also I do have a wedding envelope as well. This one is for anniversaries and stuff because I kind of realized that, so the dates are like day to day, not that we do things every day or even every week, but that's for like the regular occurrences. Whereas the anniversary ones are a little bit more expensive. So I wanted to have something in here that will cover that. Wedding isn't getting stuffed today. Going out is not getting stuffed today. And we have a little giveaway one. So that's getting stuffed in the bonus, although I have already bought the things for the giveaway, but that's something I'm gonna have to start saving for. Um, with For the YouTube fan, fam, fan. Oh, I actually just said fan. I did not mean that I said, meant to say fam and fan came out. Oh God, right. So pedicures and laser are not getting stuffed, but emergency fund 
We'll get a 10. I have to replace, I, I took out all my placeholders when I re redid my binders. So I have placeholders to go back in here, but I think I'll show you those in the giveaway. So emergency has 10, oops, 10, 20, 30, 5, 40. Cool, I think I was very close to 3,000. I just need to check. I think I have a statement somewhere for the savings account that I have my emergency fund in, which is great. And then Florida will be coming soon. Oh, look, I made a tracker. So Florida is a big holiday. Um, a lot of money needs to be saved. I can't remember exactly what each of these pineapples represents right now, but I made a little tracker to save for Florida. That will be a holiday next year that my whole family will be going on, hence why it's a bit more expensive. But yeah, get to fill in some pineapples. I will be using savings challenges to save for that, but every time I hit whatever one of these pineapples is worth, because I'll figure that out, um, then I'll transfer it over here and colour in a pineapple. So that is sinking funds. I can't believe all of you stayed quiet while I didn't stuff for my purse. I was about to give myself no spending money again this week and all of you just sat there and watched me. Shameful. So 20 will go into spending and then we'll go do the <coughs> infinity challenge. Did anybody see, I'm assuming everybody saw um, Iris Budget's video this week. I could not stop laughing. The exact same thing happened to her that the infinity challenge took most of her spending money for the week. And she was on 25, I think. Uh, was she on 25 and then the dice rolled and she couldn't go anywhere. And yeah, just the exact same thing, which was hilarious. So fun is getting 10 as well. I always stuff the same amounts in here for the full month. And then we rolled them over into the wallet reserve. So, excuse me. And then food, we'll have 25. I have to say, after seven weeks with no takeaway, and it was very good, don't get me wrong, like it was delicious, but I feel like my taste had changed a bit or something. So like this takeaway, like maybe it was just a, a weird day for them in that takeaway, but I found personally that it was very salty, whereas I never really noticed that before. So, I don't know, did my taste change? Were they punishing me for not ordering my three takeaways a week? Potentially. Okay, now that that's sorted, we can get into our... Wait, I'll give it a little shake because it makes me happy. So we can go in here. Right, so knockout nine is for our one month ahead. So... Pop in here, oof, and do a row. So I'll just move this over here a little bit. Get my Sharpie and my cubes of doom. Okay, are we ready? Sorry, I just saw the infinity challenge and my heart actually just jumped. I thought I was doing something wrong. And also, yeah, infinity challenge robs my money, but. Oh, can you see both of those? Yeah, you can. There's a little five over here, a little four, so that's a nine. I'll just go across out the nine. Which I stay within the arena, sir. Two. Okay, I'm gonna stop putting the cap back on because I did that all last week and I did my head in. What are you? Five and a five, a ten. Ooh. Oh, oh yes, okay. Ooh. Oh my god. No, hold on. So the way I play this is I can only do two numbers. Am I being an idiot? Hold on. Eight and one is nine. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm just going to get a calculator because this can't be real. It is. It is real. <laughs> oh my god. I just went and did some calculations just to make sure there was no two numbers there that added up to ten. Just wait. There is! There's six and four! I'm an idiot. Okay, hold on. Nobody panic. Six and four. Okay, no, we're, we're still in the game. Oh my god. Four. 
So we can do three and one. Okay, okay. I think we're gonna be all right. Oh my God. So what do I have left? Seven and eight. Eight to six. Okay, so we're, okay, seven and eight. All right. Oh my God, my heart. I was like, how did I just manage to get all of the numbers? Okay, so we've got 15 going in here. So, do we have, yeah. So if I take out a five and put in a 20. So where are we at now? So we have 20, 35, 45, 50 and a two. That is great. Alrighty, hello infinity. So there's my spending. Okay, let's be nice to each other. No hard feelings. <sighs> okay. Plus three, yeah, yeah, okay, so it was on 25. So plus one, two, three. <laughs> Well, that's no better than last week. <laughs> so we have no spending money again. <sighs> I can understand why Iris Budgets gives herself a bit more now than, and I don't know if that's intentional for the Infinity Challenge, but yeah, this thing will rob you. Wow. Okay. <sighs> and I said in the last video that the idea Oh, well, I don't really have an idea for the Infinity Challenge, to be honest. So there's 45 in there. And um, this is going to be like a me, a me challenge, because everything else is like the one month ahead, holidays, which is clearly for me as well. But however, um, I don't have anything where it's just like, treat yourself, Juliana. So at least it's taking money that I probably would spend on a treat yourself mood and putting it into a future treat yourself. So that is Grand. Well, it's not, but moving swiftly on. Wild card. Okay, I'll get the cards. And a little shuffle. And I may have done a little bit of female shopping. Um, but yeah, I, I was on Etsy yesterday when I was sick, feeling a bit sorry for myself. And I had an idea um, with the savings challenge that I've seen a few times that I thought was really cool. And yeah, I, just, I had an idea and I was like, okay, I must, I must do it. So I did and I've ordered it. So there will be a happy mail video coming soon. And I think that ch those challenges, I probably won't start until I'm back from holidays, but it's okay. My fiance was asking, do I not think that, you know, there might be a few too many? Well, he didn't say that there was too many savings challenges. He was like, oh, but I thought you were doing your, you know, snakes and ladders and your other ones. I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> and what? <laughs> okay, I'm feeling this one today. Five, so that's 50 that we put in. Will I go again? Wait, what's over there? 20, 40, 60, 80, one. Oof, okay, no, I won't. I'll put in 50 because I budget 100 for the wildcard challenge and whatever doesn't go in rolls into Saveopoly and Snakes and Ladders. And if I pull anything above a five or an ace, I, yeah, it's game over. So, okay, we need to make change. Okay, so I don't think we have any tens in wildcard. And it's all 20s at the minute. That is right. So where can I break a 20 down? Knockout nine might be a good place to go. Yeah. So we'll take out a 10. And two fives. Up in a 20. Okay. 
perfect and into wildcard then so we will put make sure these aren't sticking to each other again 50. so what we now have in wildcard this is going towards holiday spending at the minute 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 2 20 30 2 30 lovely yeah so we're going on holidays it's actually in less than a month um i'm not going to tell you where because i have my reasons i will reveal shortly maybe shortly after we'll find out but what i will show you is i'm going to show you how i'm going to budget my spending money for that holiday because i am i'm like a mad woman when i go on holidays i save up a certain amount of money and then it's just a free-for-all once i hit the airport and although i do not think that's an issue whatsoever like you see you saved your money for your holiday if you don't want to budget on your holiday don't you know it's your holiday you do what you want however <laughs> in my case my issue is that i could go on holiday and i could not budget i never have to be fair this is going to be my first time but i could not budget and what will happen is i'll spend all my money and that's fine because that's what i saved it for but when i come home I then have to readjust back to being on a budget and sometimes I'll come home and I might have a little bit of leftover money and then I'll be like oh I'm just gonna buy this but whatever this is will be slightly over budget and then I'll end up taking money from somewhere else because it just takes me a while to switch between spending mode and saving mode and when I say budget it's a it's not a, a loose it's a loose budget really it is because I'm gonna have a lot a lot of money like way more money than i need because i'm nervous of going on holidays without a lot more money than i need but i'm going to try and budget into certain categories so that i'm still in the zone of i'm taking this from this envelope i'm aware that i like i see the physical money leaving my hand not just tapping my card for the whole holiday so that is the plan i have no idea where i left off on this i'm going to say i left off there that could be incorrect I don't know why I haven't been marking this and I don't feel like I want to. So we're going to keep going with the chaos. So where are my cubes of doom? We're going to roll one. Yeah, so we're on five right now. Three. So that's one, two, three, save 15. Okay, I can do that, but I need more change again. So knockout nine, here I come. I'm robbing this challenge blind. Do I have? 15 in here. I don't want. Okay. Infinity. Don't even look at me. Let's snakes. Oh, I think that's a 20. There is. There's 20 in snakes. That worked out perfectly. So we'll put these back. Pop a 20 into snakes. And what did I say? 15. So. There we go. So there's 23 in there now. These are also going to holiday savings. It's just, I just like challenges, okay? Don't, don't judge me. And then we have this left. How do I have so much money left? Oh, because I only put 15 to wildcard, that's why. Okay, I'm gonna do a snakes and ladders and then I'll go back to save up Lee if, if we need to. So for snakes, I don't know where the hell I left off on this one either. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Okay, I remember that I said I'd roll I, the last time because I was likely going to get a five. So I landed on one of these. I think it was this one. So let's go again. And again, I'm not going to mark it because I like the colors. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. You can have that. She's now 40 in snakes. And what do I have left? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 left. Okay, what do I want to do? I think I might try another row in the knockout nine. Although I've been seeing... So I saw uh, Michelle finish her knockout nine, which is unbelievable. But I've also seen a couple of other channels that were getting... Um, harassed by the knockout nine this week okay Q 
cubes of doom at the ready. Ooh, I can't see that. Five and three. Okay, so we'll go straight for an eight there, I think. It's a nine. Okay, this could be a nice little friendly one. Shouldn't speak too soon though. Six and a one is, oh, we're on a countdown. Five and a three is eight, so we can do five and three. Three is two and a one. So we only have four and six left. Six, seven, eight. Nope. So we're going to put four and six. So this challenge gets a 10. Okay. Uh, it's only 15 there. I'm not going to chance the knockout nine again because she fights deep. So that can go back in there. Okay, where shall we go? Infinity can get lost. Wild card, no, too dangerous. Um, right, where are we on this? How 15, I was on 15. See, my issue is with Save Upley, that if I roll a three, I have to save 25 and I don't have 25. Anything else along here is fine. Will we try fate? We'll see which one looks lucky. I'm gonna use my new cube of doom because that one hates me. Right, not a three, not a three, not a three, not a three. Yes, okay, four. So it's one, two, three, four. So that's save nine. So I think there's a euro in there. There is, so I can give it Crusty five, well, two crusty fives. And take back a one. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Pop you in there. All right, six euro left. What shall we do? I might carry it into my bonus, will I? Yeah, I might actually carry it into the 100 envelope challenge because why not? There's a little six right there that could use stuffing. And there's plenty of sixes there that could use stuffing. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So that's our savings challenges completed. Oh, actually I wanted to show you, I also made a tracker for my one month ahead. Kind of like my Florida one. I made them quite large to be honest. It's a little bit of a, an issue, but yeah, so there's this one as well. So I'm trying to save up to 3000. Uh, I can't remember what these are worth again. <laughs> I, I should have written it somewhere on it, but I just completely forgot. So yeah, this is going to be the tracker for getting one month ahead. And um, so every time we kind of finish the knockout nine, I think we'll transfer it over. Or if we hit the amount that these symbols are, which I can't remember right now, <laughs> um, then we'll, we'll transfer over. But excuse me while I try to ram this back in here. Okay, that is the savings challenges complete. Just grab these from my bonus stuffing. So I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you again. Um, if you stuck around to the end, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know where everybody's from um, because I always comment on everybody's videos letting them know that I'm from Ireland because it's a character trait. And I think that people find that interesting. Probably not so much in the UK, but definitely in the US. I know a lot of the, the guys have been intrigued that I'm I'm from Ireland so um let me know where you guys are from and stick around for the bonus stuffing which will be up next and we'll do our wax sealing in that one and then at some point over the weekend I will have a giveaway video up as well and make sure that you follow whatever rules I figure out for that to to get involved and yeah I'll see you next time bye